Should I convert my old 401k to a Roth IRA? That's what I want to talk about today on the Your Financial EKG YouTube channel. I got a great question last night and it said, hey Drew, I've got $6,000 in my old 401k. Should I convert that to a Roth IRA? And I thought that would be a great question to answer right now. So let's look at this. Should I convert my old 401k to a Roth IRA. And here's what we want to look at. We've got a 47 year old male. He makes $75,000 a year and he's got an old 401k that's worth $6,000. And so the question he's asking is, should I move this old 401k over to a Roth IRA? And why would you do that? Why would you move it from a 401k to a Roth IRA? Well, the benefits of a Roth IRA are tax-free income once you get into retirement. So a Roth IRA offers tax-free retirement income. It also offers tax-free growth. So essentially, if you're gonna move money from a 401k to a Roth IRA, at this intermiddle period, you're gonna pay taxes on the money. So right here, once it's moving from 401k to Roth, you're gonna pay taxes. And when you pay taxes, what does that do to this money? It makes this money tax free. So moving it from your old 401k to a Roth IRA is doing a Roth IRA conversion. Not a contribution, but a conversion, converting money. Now, if you do a Roth IRA conversion, the only rule that you really have to follow is you have to let that Roth IRA sit for five years. And it's gotta be for each consecutive conversion. So, if this person did two conversions, in two consecutive years, so let's say they did a conversion in 2023 and a conversion in 2024, you would have to wait five years for each conversion before you could use that for tax-free retirement income. And oh wait, you also must be over age 59 and a half. So for this person at 47 years old, we're gonna do the conversions, but he essentially has to wait till he's 59 and a half before he can take out the money tax-free for retirement income and tax-free growth. Now, let's erase a couple numbers real quick. Let's take out this $6,000 number here, and let's erase the conversions here. And what if your old 401k is not $6,000? What if your old 401k is $600,000? You might be thinking, well, great, that's awesome. I got a $600,000 old 401k. And what if you're asking the same question? Drew, should I roll over my $600,000 old 401k to a Roth IRA? Now we're talking about some different stipulations different thoughts you need to be thinking. The first thought is, if you roll over $600,000 to a Roth IRA, Uncle Sam, well, first of all, Uncle Sam's gonna love that, but Uncle Sam is gonna want some money, right? Because $600,000, you're probably gonna owe somewhere in the neighborhood of 120 to $240,000 in taxes. And we do not, want to pay Uncle Sam $120,000 to $240,000 in taxes when we're trying to get tax-free retirement income and tax-free growth. So, I want to roll over my old 401k to a Roth IRA. I want tax-free retirement income. I want tax-free growth. What is the best plan for this? Well, let's talk about it. What's the best plan if you have $600,000 in an old 401k, this is an old 401k, so it's not your current 401k. If it's your current 401k, you can't pull any money out of it until you're over the age of 59 and a half. And once you get over the age of 59 and a half, then, as long as your plan admin allows it, you might be able to do one-time rollovers and then we can do what we're about to do on the board. So here's what I want you to think about. 
You've got $600,000 in your 401k. You want to convert it to a Roth IRA. How do you do this? I like to structure this in buckets. And so basically, we're going to have different buckets where we do the conversion. So let's assume we break this down evenly and we have six separate buckets. So we'll have one bucket, two, three, four, five, and six. And what we're going to do is equally separate our old 401k into six different Roth IRAs, okay? But we're not gonna do it all at once. We're gonna roll over $100,000 per year. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we wanna keep our taxes low and we wanna structure this so that our five years, the reason we're gonna do six separate Roth IRA buckets is so that we can keep track of those five-year conversions, right? That five-year rule. So the first bucket, we're gonna put $100,000 in. The second bucket, we're gonna do the conversion of $100,000. The third bucket, another 100 grand. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, if we're 47 years old, that means 48, well, let's say we started at 47. So 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, and 52, okay? So those are the ages that we're doing the conversions. Now let's just assume it's this year, so 2023. So we gotta wait till 2028, 2029, 2030, 2031, 2032 and 2033 that's the five year rule okay so that's how long we have to wait on each conversion now i like to set it up in six separate accounts so that we can keep up with the five year rule once we get to 2033 we just put all this money back into the same roth ira that way it's all kind of back in one place we can organize it keep track of it a lot easier but while we're doing the conversions we want to open it up into these levels now there's a couple other things i want you to think about should i convert my 401k or my old 401k to a roth ira the first thing you want to think about is taxes where are you in taxes right now if we do this conversion is it going to push that amount of money into a new bracket so we have a progressive tax code means that you pay taxes progressively, 0, 10, 20, 22, 24, okay? If you're in the 22% bracket and you throw an extra $100,000 in there, is that gonna put that $100,000 in the 24% tax bracket? Are you gonna be doing bracket jumping? That's why I like to do a financial EKG to go through the exact plan to see where are we gonna be at tax-wise. The second thing you wanna think about is also tax related. So are we bracket jumping? That's the first thing. The second thing we wanna think about is what about our age? So if you're on social security and you're looking at doing conversions, right, from your IRA to your Roth IRA, it might cause your social security taxes to go up because you have to understand your social security is taxed at zero, 50, and 85%. So if you have $30,000 in social security income every year, you drop a $100,000 conversion on that along with maybe some interest and other income, your social security computation might be 85%. That's a big deal. So maybe we bring down the conversion. So you really want to be thinking, not only am I thinking about the tax-free retirement income and the tax-free growth, but I'm also thinking about what's that going to do to my taxes today? What's that going to do to my social security, my Medicare taxes? But does this actually make sense? And that's why you want to plan. So hey, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.